switching gears a little bit, but not a lot. Um, I mean, hey, I gotta be honest here. I've been texting you like immediately following every single time you're on camera lately. And it's not like I'm trying to be obnoxious or a bother, but I genuinely think that it's important for me and for the world to give you some positive reinforcement and, and pat you on the back for what I believe Thanks, has been man. a real coming of age uh, as a drag racing personality. I mean, let's be honest, you've, you, you don't lack resume wise, right? Not one, not two, but three rings. You, you're, you don't need any more accomplishments, a real shot at a fourth here in 2021. Accomplishment wise, you've done it all. But I truly believe I've seen you enter a new phase of your career when it comes to doing interviews and like to use some more pro wrestling talk, cut promos. I mean, there were wrestlers back in the glory days of the WWF still today that were horrible wrestlers, horrible. I mean, Hulk Hogan is known as one of the worst wrestlers of all time, but man, could he cut a promo, right? Man, could he sell it? And that's why Hulk Hogan ascended to the levels that he did. And I, I just, I'm just curious, has this been a conscious decision for Matt Hagen to kind of like let it all hang out a little bit to, to let yourself go? Or has this just kind of happened organically as you've gotten more comfortable with who you, uh, you are as an adult and a grown man here, here and now? Well, it's just that I still have so much passion for what I'm doing, man. You know what I mean? I think that, you know, even after 13, 15 years, I mean, if you count pro mod now, you know, I guess it's closer to 20 years. I just still love the sport and I love what I'm doing and I love that. I'm still able to do it, you know, and so the the passion for me is just like, you know, when I won, uh, you know, Denver, it was just it was something that I've been wanting to do for so long. And somebody put so much pressure on you all the time to do it. And and we haven't got it done. And to do, to do that, to, to you know, to win that, you know, it was just it was unbelievable. And it just it was just like, uh, you know, just the, the emotion and the passion and uh, it just all pours out, you know, and and it's it, but it's like that for every race. And I think that. Sometimes, you know, it, you get you see guys like Force or Tony Schumacher or different things like that, that that's won all these races. And it's just kind of like you almost seems like it's just like they they're not excited about it sometimes, you know, and it's just like for me, I just can't. You know, every time we we, we hold a trophy up, it just the the just the, the passion for it comes out, you know, and it's just you work so hard and, and it's so humbling. This is one of the most humbling sports I've ever been involved with. And. It, you know, it's just like you can do it all right and still get it wrong because you're at the, the mercy of the parts and the pieces. And it just it, it takes everything to do it right. And for me, you know, it's just like I'm just enjoying life, man. And I'm just living it and loving it and I'm blessed to be doing it. And, you know, just very, very grateful. You know what I mean? And it's just there's so many people that, that want to do what we're doing. I mean, you just had Alex on the on the show here and I uh, was listening to some of that. And it was just, you know, that's a great kid and he's going to do great things, you know, and. But, you know, his next goal is to hold up a Wally and top fuel, you know, and and so and, and that's a huge thing to do. There's a lot of people out here that haven't done that, you know, and and uh, when 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 that happens, it's a special moment that, you know, nobody can buy it. Nobody can can, you know, you, you can't go out here and steal it. You can't do it. I mean, you have to earn it, you know, and same with the championships. But what, I, you know, some people forget not talking about just a championship, just to earn a Wally is incredibly hard to do sometimes. You know, I mean, you think about these guys like Johnny Gray and. Morgan Lucas and all these people that, that had unlimited, unlimited amount of money, you know, look at Alexis DeJoria, you know, her, her dad owns Paul Mitchell, you know I mean? Like unlimited amount of money, you know, and it's not, not something that you can buy. You know what I mean? You have to put a, we've seen that run together. people out, right? I mean, we've seen yeah. the inability to buy victory in drag racing, send people into retirement. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really does. I mean, it just, it's unbelievable, and, you know, so you have to have a group of people that work hard, that are motivated, that are driven, that are passionate, that are smart, you know, and, and that's really been the success of my career I've, as I've been able to put smarter, harder working, more motivated, very driven people around me. And I just don't mess it up, brother. That's all what it comes down to. It's been an awesome thing to see, man. And I, I appreciate that because it's, I text you right after I was watching the, the Mile High Nationals on, on Fox, trying to, to, to show my support. And you go through the traps and you're whipping the wheel and you get out and you're grabbing the camera and losing your mind. And I immediately text you like, I don't care if you don't read this for six weeks, but you need to hear 
that that's what we need to see from you. That's what we need to see from the stars of our sport because you just, and as soon as you demonstrate to us, not just me, the entire racing fan base, how much this means that you're willing to lose your mind. And it's this huge celebration, this huge moment. I heard stories about you blowing off interviews and stuff to stay down on the starting line and engage with fans. Those are the stories that, in my opinion, create legends, right? Folk heroes in our sport. And I, I appreciate you really putting on a show for us, Matt.